You just got yourself a new puppy and you're so excited and you want to get their ears cropped but you do not know where to start. Today I'm going to show you four different styles of ear cropping to help guide you through what style you would want for your puppy. So let's get started. The first style I'm going to show you today is a battle crop. Now what a battle crop is, it's a real close cut to the head to where there's almost no ear left. Back in the day this was a very popular crop for bullies and pit bulls. And the reason why is when they get into the dog rings, when they're ready to fight, the other dog, which their opponent, will have less to grab onto when they're fighting. The name of the crop is self-explanatory, and it is decreasing in population in the bully community nowadays. The second style is a short crop. Now, the short crop is increasing in popularity with big names like the Hulk, who has a short crop, and Drake's dog, who also has a short crop. It's the perfect balance because it's not as quite as short as the battle crop, but it's not as long as the show crop, keeping it a perfect balance, and it is growing in popularity in the bully community nowadays. The third style is a show crop. Now the show crop is longer than the short crop and it also is increasing in popularity in the bully community because this is the style of crop that dog owners use when they take their dogs to dog contests and dog shows. This style of crop is what I see most show dogs having nowadays. It creates the perfect balance between a short crop and definitely not as long as a tall crop which brings us to the next one. And last but not least, the fourth style of crop is the long crop or the tall crop, which is not very popular in the bully community. You would often see Great Danes have this or Dobermans have this kind of crop, which their ears stick up high and point to the sky. Like I said, you won't see a lot of bullies or pit bulls have this crop, and it's very rare to see them have that. But the Great Danes and Dobermans, that is very common for them. Now, the ages you're able to get your dog's ear cropped are the ages between 8 weeks and 16 weeks, depending on your vet, give or take. If they're too young, they do not build enough ear cartilage, and it could take a long time for the healing process to be finished. And if they're too old, they might have too much ear cartilage already developed that can create some complications during the surgery process. Now, the price range for the ear cropping procedure could vary from around $800 to $1,600 based on the prices in here in Colorado. It would be best for you to do your own due diligence and research on this price range if you're in a different state other than mine. I do have another video that goes over the pros and cons of ear cropping. At the end of this video on your end screen, click on the next video and I go over just that, the pros and cons of ear cropping. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. What kind of ear cropping do you guys want to get your dog? I'm curious on what you guys want for your bully or your pit bull or whatever you have. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. I'm out.